Eric Barrett claims to have only vague memories of tying up and gagging his niece in a bedroom of their Campsie unit. Meng Mei Ling, who also went by Michelle, was born in 1991 in mainland China. She moved to Sydney five years before her death to attend the University of Technology. It was always her dream to study in Sydney, and she was a recent business graduate. While in Sydney, she would live with her aunt, who was her mother's sister, and her aunt's husband, Derek, who was 27 at the time of her murder, along with her cousin. Her father was killed in 2008 in the Wenchuan earthquake, which left Michelle and her mother very dependent on each other, forming an extremely close bond. By all accounts, Derek seemed to be a very doting uncle who just wanted the best for his 25-year-old niece, but this was not the case at all. In actuality, he was completely obsessed with his niece. Months before her death, Derek would begin secretly filming Michelle showering, changing, and sleeping. In videos that range from 30 seconds to two minutes long, Derek would be seen masturbating over her as she slept, recordings of him setting up cameras in the bathroom and hiding them behind toilets before Michelle would come into shower, and he even went so far as to draw a bath for his niece and then secretly film her bathing. Friday, April 22, 2016, Michelle would go shopping on Pitt Street. Her aunt would be away for a few days on business and her cousin would be out of the home. After Michelle got home that day, Derek barged into her room, stripped her of her clothing, threw her on the bed, bounding her arms and feet, and putting duct tape over her mouth. Over the next two days, he would film himself raping the terrified Michelle, taking photos of her naked body, with some of them being up-close pictures of her genitalia, and then stabbing her to death 30 times in the neck and torso. On April 24th, he wrapped Michelle's naked body in plastic, put her in the trunk of his car, drove her body to the store to pick up alcohol, and then dumped her at the snapper point over a cliff and into a blowhole. Michelle's body would be discovered the following day by tourists, with the only motive being that he was sexually attracted to her. Once Michelle's aunt came home, they went to police to report her missing. With evidence found at the crime scene and tracing Derek's movements, it didn't take long for police to realize that he was the killer. After his arrest, it would come out that Derek was also secretly filming his stepdaughter for sexual gratification. He would be charged with filming a person's privates without consent for sexual gratification, committing acts of indecency, detaining Michelle without consent for sexual gratification, and murder. He would tell the court that he only had vague memories of what happened because he was binging on ice and synthetic marijuana, which affected his memory. The judge sentenced Derek to 46 years with a parole date of April 28, 2062. Derek Barrett had told the court he deserved a lengthy sentence and Judge Helen Wilson obliged. Mr. Barrett, you should stand up now, please. The offender, Derek Barrett, is sentenced to a term of imprisonment of 46 years, expiring on the 28th of April, 2062. It was a depraved and sadistic act committed by a man in a position of trust to Ms Ling and in a place that should have been one of refuge and safety for her. Since his arrest, Barrett has always maintained he can't remember kidnapping or killing Ms Ling, that the drugs he was on affected his memory. The judge today said that's a lie. I have concluded that the offender can give an account of these events. He has chosen not to. However, this would be before new information had surfaced. For reasons that nobody can really explain, an elderly woman with dementia found a USB not far from where Michelle's body was. The USB contained nine videos and 13 photographs of the crime. In November of 2019, the woman's daughter was visiting her and noticed that her mother was holding a memory stick. She plugged it into the computer and after seeing its contents, she called the police. The USB would contain 60 minutes of tape in which Derek's brutality and contempt for his niece was on full display, as was her pain, distress, and fear. At the new sentencing, the judge would say, quote, the offender manipulated Miss Lang's body as if she was a worthless inanimate object, end quote. At one point, the judge says that Barrett noticed he had bound Michelle's hands so tightly that they were swollen and turning purple. So he stopped, cut off the duct tape with a large hunting knife, retied her hands and said, quote, now where were we? 
He then continued to rape and assault her. Justice Wilson would say, quote, I would go so far as to say that had the court known the full extent of abuse and violation of Miss Ling, a life sentence would have been imposed. That sentence cannot now be imposed, end quote. Rather, she sentenced him to an additional 20 years in prison to be served concurrently with his murder sentence, meaning his 46-year overall sentence remains unchanged. During the new sentencing, Derek wrote Michelle's mother an apology letter to which Justice Wilson rejected, calling it disingenuous, saying, quote, to be accepted as such, real remorse requires more than the utterance of a few well-worn words. It requires a genuine acknowledgement of wrongdoing and a deeply felt regret for it. It's hard to see how the offender could truly regret conduct he claims not to remember and blames upon drugs, end quote. Justice Wilson would go on to explain that the law required her to view the sex crimes as part of the overall offending against Michelle, beginning with her detainment and ending with her murder, both of which he had already been sentenced for. This worked heavily in his favor, noting that two separate sentences did not represent the whole of what he did. Michelle's mother said to the court, how could any mother accept such news? Justice Wilson said in closing, the simple answer is that no mother, no parent, no decent person ever could. Okay, guys, if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you so very much. If you would be so kind, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It would mean so much to me, especially since I'm so small. And until next time.